Hello. Hello. How are we doing today? How are we evening? doing today? How are we doing today? Apparently I muted the unmute. Hopefully we're doing great today. For some reason my Windows taskbar decided to remove the search term on there. And I don't think I did anything. Huh. Interesting. There's supposed to be a little bar here. Now it's gone. And I don't think I did anything. Oh well. So today, sorry for missing yesterday. I was kind of preparing. Roads.net user group earlier today, and I am um, too busy to stream. Sorry about that. Uh, so today we're going to work through the Azure Maps search service. So if you're new to watching this, this site is kind of based on uh, a site I built to track events at a conference that looks something like this. Now, I don't think this is actually, it's not working because it's not on the scripts. So couple of years old. But essentially when you go and view an event, Lermo, um, you can see a map of it. The map's not working here in the new version worked on it's working. There's also Foursquare, which I took out of. But within the Foursquare, it provided us the ability to search for you were creating a new event, you can search for nearby events. And the reason why I had that search there is because we want the address and location to put it. People have to rely. Well, what's the address for Red Robin in, you know, Bellevue, Washington? So we're going to use the Azure Maps API to kind of get those search results. Uh, before we get started, on, I just kind of wanted to go through some of the guidance. So there's a whole section in the how to about this. And I did some reading over the weekend on it to kind of find the differences. There's essentially two types of searches. For, so there's four types of searches, in two categories. Two categories are just generic search and DOI search, which is referred to as the points of interest. So generic search allows you to search for state, search for gas stations. Your points of interest is more geared toward uh, actual locations, meaning gas stations, that not just what's at this geo core. So we're going to look at the points of search or EOI searches. It you can read up more on it's like if we search that's for more cases. Ours is very specific. So we want to where is actually we're going to want to do. Points of interest search, which was in here. Actually, I actually have a link done because I started working on this to discuss this. Here it is best for searching. So if we want, we can use the category. I don't think we necessarily need. There was an autocomplete link. That one, is it this one? Yeah, this is an older post. There's actually a lot newer ones. So go to Azure, Azure map samples. Yeah, Azure map code samples. There's about 40 or 50. This is what I've been using a lot for the reference. I think it goes in with 
bottom set. Yeah, after all mappers, it might be in the map. Nope, not in the map part. We use the map part for mappy map stuff like that. Should be a search at the very bottom. There it is, rest service. So we're gonna use a combination of this, which is filling addresses, and this to kind of guide us through it. So for the most part, since we're already using jQuery as a requirement for bootstrap, I'm going to probably follow along sample, see if we get it to work. So if I view the source for this, actually, wait on here. You can see the examples. Everything here is just in straight HTML. Well, borrow pieces of it. So let's get started. This is typically on the add new event page. So I might just create that page, let's add search dialog, and then next time together, complete the add. Let's go with here and I think we already have the method controller. Let's just double check. Event controllers. Do, 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 do. The details. We have the index, but I think we actually have an We have an edit, but we don't. So we can do an edit two different ways. Have the edit be an edit with an index or a new. I like to call it, even though they're both going to use the same UI, things are a little bit different. So I separate them. So let's do new. Won't be thing for that. Uh, return new or just return view is going to be empty now. The sharper slash writer is going to complain that it's not implemented. So I enter you create razor view with layout. We're going to do model for now. You don't, it doesn't really matter. Let's do it. Meetups dot don't. All this. New event underscore backspace. I lost out on Telesense, so out is to be conference layout. And then let's just call this. That's the basic for the page. Uh, we have no way of getting to new, so we'll just hard URL. So I am going to go to the map page and steal some of the startup code. So go to details page. E. So we're going to want to include both of these sections. And do copy and inject the setting. You here and 
That should be good. We're going to probably change this. Like the this won't work. Conference location, but I don't know if we're going to initialize. So copy this code just in case we needed it. Just and copy this. I don't think we're going to need a map, but we're going to have to find a way to initialize all the other functions. Epping and spacing is off. i got to clean that up. Docs. So let's go take a look at the first bit of code. Azure Maps. Ooh. Not worried about J. Well, we might need jQuery UI or the text box because it has the component that allows that. So I kind of don't want that it. It has some six. Uh, but I do like the URI. So should we need to create a map? Also, but that's just to center the items on a map. And then it looks like, so here we're adding a data source map, which we did in the last time. We're gonna add a layer to pin that source. So we're now we're saying here, take this location and then here with the Autocomplete, which is the jQuery UI part. We're saying that as long as there's more than three characters in it, go and make that request. So this is actually going out and calling API. And then once it calls the API selected, we go and grab that point edit to the data set so that it's there then we center the map and this method allows us to render the item there's actually a lot of code in there to do It's like, I mean, I can literally copy paste, start changing, changing the, um, changing the code. Is probably what, I don't know if we're going to display a map. We might display a shortened version of the map, but at least to get it to work. Our scenario and copy and paste, change it. So let's go about getting jQuery UI into our solution. Actually, let's look. jQuery UI is used. This is where I could probably use something. Telerik UI to do, but I haven't implemented any "quote unquote" third-party stuff in there yet. Um, most of them are ones really don't. Complete bonds, almost like the same exact search terms. So let's just go to yarn package. Yep. A query. Ah, oh, last time it was up. 
three years ago. I don't know if I want to put that. Maybe I'll add it on. Uh, something. Telerik. Something. Kendo UI. Since we're using jQuery, we can. Call their components. They have a whole bunch of components for it. So I can do the European countries. So let's go with Bulgaria. I think they even support bootstrap themes. Bulgaria. There, so I wonder how hard it's going outside the implementation of it. Since keep up and if I'm public, no one's going to be able to use this without the or it. Well, let's see how complicated the source. Okay. Let's just go with the jQuery UI one for now and then back at the old project and see jQuery UI. What if it's still in existence? New classes, it doesn't look like it's retired, at least there's I guess it's still working, so I'm gonna go and copy out this text. Uh, e. Actually, I don't even need to copy out the text. I can go to our yarn packages file. Comma, looks like there's an update for the map control. So I'm going to take that. A query. Spell it correctly. Dash. I. Pull the latest. Our telling an update. So it's the update. Actually, a couple of. That one I want to keep at 5.1. 15 that one there was other versions. Let's see what huh. I thought that was a version it's use. 31. B that is the version. Why is it saying it wants it? I'm gonna run yarn install anyway. Enter run yarn yarn install. I should be adding those packages. Check that by going to our WW root folder. Lib, there should be a jQuery UI, which there is now. What is complaining? Or over it. It is installed. Where are you looking? Huh. I wonder if it's because I'm not installing them in all location. They're all on a list. This is the packages. Uh, okay, so we got that. Now we need to update our configuration scripts so to here. I think we got everything from CDNJS, if I remember correctly. 
use shared conference layout. To do to do CDNJS, CDNJS port and get the CDN. query UI, this one. And then both. Do I wonder if the UI is going to look differently because these, these are jQuery UI themes and not strap things. But again, you get that. I want to get the got to copy out the script tag back here. Main. They are going to probably needs to be further up the two chain, so B and let's go. Link, so this should be script. Source equals lib slash. I just did lib slash a query UI slash. I built. That's weird. See my see what suggesting on the jQuery UI site. Well, the CDN is usually the same. Slip jQuery version and. Then Looks like just the root. Must have missed that. See where it is in the H Y. Yeah, it's not in the root. Under UIs. Oh, it's not there. It all builds as it makes sense. This package pulled in everything, and I don't want it. It's terrible. It's really pulled in the entire wood. See if there's a query. Probably one. This one. Yeah. See what that. Let's go back this folder because I can do that. Turn it. Delete. Come back to packages. Change this to jQuery UI. Distribution and the version number same. Call it. Turn install. That's better. So let's go here. We're going to complain dash. D I S T -E 
jQuery min thing. We're going similar CSS. Query distribution. Index CSS. And we need to add file to here. So let's go back to yes. That here. Vanity, let's do pacing to these bad boys. And now it's a little bit clear. So this should work to get the jQuery UI loaded. What else do we need from the sample? Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so first step is to create the map, get the map. So I'm just going to copy, copy this whole section, and then we'll just take out what right here now the only thing we'll need to change is the authentication so let's go back to map page or details and grab the authentication part which is here Paste that here. We're not using the be an option in the future. For now, we've been doing all that. So we initialize the map. Data source. Yes, this really should be our data source. to put constant data source. At least three characters. So we're gonna set the country selector for now to be EN-US, which I believe is C, not just US. Change that to US for now. Country ISO. Huh. What was the element name it wanted? The selected index that value. Oh. The yeah, this is just less for now. The DOM element is for the value of US. Geocode service template, which is bad boy here. Request term. Search type, hard code the search type in here. Spelling words. I actually spell separated. So many spelling words and spelling errors. Um, 
wonder why it wants the domain. Let's see where that comes from. Do, 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 do. Replace query, yeah, we're gonna do that. Search term. We're gonna have to search type change. So search type is always gonna be the same, which is POI. And ultimately, we can probably put these all. We want to change that feature. Enter is fine. ISO is fine. The only thing I'm concerned with is this PZ maps domain. The Maps. The other instance of it. Oh. Guess it really wants to go to wherever it was. Okay. Leave that one there. And that should be it. I need to create a text box to map it to. So let's see what they do in the. So we got those search types, category list. This is the input. Let's do this. Should we want to do this? Map JIT C. Is that all right here? We'll change the names and everything. Get the looking. Now, the only thing I need to do is. Change the center. We don't have anywhere. Here we do a get center, but we're actually not setting it in the initial line. Let's see where I go. It should be up here. Up here. Details should have a center here, but I need to change that from model. Control tab. Let's do center. Can't be model. This has to be the conference, but I don't have. The conference passed in here, so how did I get the conference here? Didn't do it here. Uh, one of these, one of these pages, I ID. Built the conference for it here. And then we just use the conference. So let's go here. After the headings, we, oops, Control Z. Let's go to pages app. Let's copy out this. New, let's be there. Go to map. It's initial here. Should be new. 
virtualize here. I see once we get done with this, there's a cleanup to do because I got everything in scripts. JavaScript files and reuse things like this. right now I'm getting time. So we should be able to play this and get new. So let's start a new start the program. And see how it works. First build. I normally build them beforehand, but in our little time signal, I gotta get the stream started. Hit it again. I keep swapping in Rider and forgetting to hit the start button. Sometimes I sit here and I'm talking. Why did it take so long? Because I didn't do anything, Joe. Go here and do a uh and i'm gonna go to events and then new cool so we got the new page map is not loaded yet because i didn't actually initialize the map so my bad i don't work so let's go through and fix that <laughs> before we get started in bomb so where are you i need to do a uh, let's go detail. That one's a little document ready Hit map. Having that. so new get function get map and here actually outside of app. Start calling document map and map. Call it init map, it's called get map. Should be able to start it. R, reload this. Now we see the map. Didn't load coordinates we wanted, so let me make sure that I got the coordinates loaded right. Mm, do, 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 do. Get map. Description key is in there. Well, I'm going to eventually change. Oh, because I got the V. That's why I do full screen. We zoomed in. Let's change that. Fourteen. Else, I can refresh the page. That should just zoom in. Up. New Orleans area. Assuming I don't. Oh. Not zoomed in. Oh, I put it as a string in. Silly Joe. I probably threw it. R. Pulling low. Matter with you. Uh, 
Autocomplete is not a function. A query UI find. A query UI not defined. That's weird. That should not stop the map from working. That should stop this. So responded with error of 400. Ah, so we got all kinds of wrong. I didn't jQuery. See JavaScript. Lib. jQuery should be. Strong. Maybe it's the order I have them in. Let's go and look at it. Uh, we got style sheet, jQuery UI. Oh, these are header. So you probably want that below. Let's check. Yeah. They're coming before. So we actually want afterwards. All the children should come after mean just uh, the seawater the head is fine but we want this header we know that's yeah that's the scripts are in the right really should put that scripts so that's my bag. Let's go here. You really minimize that for now. I'm going to copy paste, remove. Remove the CSS and the scripts really. So style sheet reference, no. Style sheet reference, no. Style sheet reference, no. Style sheet. Here, let's for script reference. Now let's go back. Check. Save, hold tab, R. Still broken. Still broken. At least we're not getting the J query. This is something with. Let's see, Atlas, Microsoft address, JSON, AI version one, language, NGT, Commit one, query, looks like query part. So let's do source C. Search, we got that. Jason. Language. ENUS, so that should be right. longitude and latitude. Those should be here. This is 29 and 90. How did it come up with? So 
source, you know, the URL. 4.21. Oh, because the query populated yet. It'd be query blank, but that URL did not build language. Query with request term. I'm going to put a breakpoint. Says request and see because it doesn't look. What do you see? Here. Yeah, it's weird. It's calling that URL even though it shouldn't because it doesn't get into here. So afterwards, I need at least three characters to do this. Let's try three. So based on that, I want to look, say, see what the URL looks like. Type ahead version query equals cat. Language equals English latitude equals Hindi latitude equals four point something wrong in that. At least I can see you. Yeah, it's not you. Interesting. Live right here there. That's me now. None of those are. Actually, let's do arrows. So it should be giving me something. Caesar's name. Caesar. So long as the. It's terrible search for it's not narrowing the search the longitude so I get it but at least we got the search part working three here maps map. um means Ah, oh, come on. Let's do. Let's pick Acme Oyster House. Me, Mister. It's always right. This is what I want. so we're at least getting that, but it's not narrowed down to it's not narrowed down to patient something wrong. Yep. 
let's that's good it was pretty easy to get right just kind of figure out why this is not loading correctly centering it conference latitude and line so that worked book the subscription adding the ready to saying when you want the autocomplete for text box to load I don't see why that is breaking. What's different with map selection? Split you and move right. Oh, that's why U14 to be zoom 14. I don't know what the language, English, Asian type. Now yeah, that's better. There we go. It's better. So let's do Oyster. Oh, I guess. Are that's much better than already. And there we go. So that's what we want. We got the lookup working fairly easily outside of a couple of mistakes I made. Uh, so we'll want to try to restyle this from jQuery to UI to using the Bootstrap one. And I think there actually might. Auto complete component, but that's working what I want. Let's see if we can move it to the art of Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. Cool. So it moved right there. Neat. So that's all I had for. It. I'm actually pretty impressed. I got the auto complete working in a minute. The longest part was actually getting the jQuery UI installed on the desktop. So Thursday, there might not be an event, but if you're following me on Twitter, I'll be speaking at the .NET user group in Las Vegas. And we're going to be talking about debugging tips and tricks in Visual Studio if you want to join. All right, hopefully you got something out of it. Feel free to reach out to me on any one of the social media means below. If you're following me, if you're watching this on Twitch, please follow me. If you're watching this on YouTube later on, please hit the subscribe button. Hopefully you uh, got something out of it. Have a great day. Ciao. Later.